What's up guys, in this video I'll be showing you how to open SSH your iPhone, iPod Touch, or iPad in iOS 7. Now, this can be done in the earlier versions of iOS because they all work the same way. Now the reason why you want to open SSH is because sometimes you want to manually put in a theme that you made your own, download it online, or a video wallpaper that you want to put in your iDevice. So those are the common ideas I usually use OpenSSH for, but there's a lot of things you can also do with it. So I'm going to be doing this on my Mac, and I'm going to be using CyberDuck. So you can also use another SSH tool, but CyberDuck is the one I usually use. So before we get started, we're going to go ahead and go into our iDevice, and we're going to download a program in Cydia. Alright, so in our iDevice, you want to go into Cydia. Go to search, and then you want to type in OpenSSH, all in one word, like so. You're going to go ahead and install it. Once it's installed, you want to go into Settings. Go to Wi-Fi, and you're going to write down the IP address for your iDevice. So in my case, it will be this one right here. Once you have that written down, you're pretty much good to go. So let's go back to our computer. Alright, once you have that program downloaded, you want to go ahead and click on Open Connection. You're going to switch over to SFTP. The server is going to be your IP address or your iPhone. And then the username is going to be all lowercase root, R-O-O-T. Password is going to be Alpine, all lowercase as well, A-L-P-I-N-E. Once you have that, you want to go ahead and click on Connect. And there you have it. Now you're finally connected to your IA device. And that's pretty much it. It's pretty easy, pretty simple. You just got to download the program, and then it should let you in. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please click the like button. Leave any more questions, post a comment, and if you want to see more videos like these, please subscribe. Thanks.